Hi everyone, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my September favorites. Now, I have to say that this month, for some reason, was kind of a weird month for products for me. I didn't really use anything new. I didn't buy any new makeup, actually, all of September. And I'm not too sure why it's not, because I haven't wanted to. I most definitely have wanted to. I just haven't really had the chance. I've been super busy, just kind of, I started school and I have work and then, you know, I have homework and all that kind of stuff. So I'm sorry that I haven't been really around much, but I thought that today I would share with you some products that I've really been loving. I don't actually have a lot of beauty products to share with you today. Most of it, honestly, is just stuff, like just stuff that I've been really liking and yeah. So I'm going to jump right into it because I do have quite a bit to show you. Um, the first product, I'm trying to think of where to start, I've mentioned a lot before and I really, really apologize for that. Um, it's not that, I don't know, I just, like I said, I haven't been using any new products really lately, so yeah. And it is Clinique's Black Honey Eyeliner. And I don't know, I can't get enough of this stuff. It's probably been in the, my last two favorites videos. I just love it. I It gives you great definition, it is a nice color, goes on nicely, all that kind of stuff. So I really, really, really recommend this stuff if you can get a hold of it. Next is a lipstick, and I didn't really wear a lot of lipstick this month, and I'm not too sure why, mostly because I would forget to put it on. But I really like this Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Vintage Pink. This is what it looks like. And it is very, it is the exact same color as MAC Syrup. And it's not that I like this more than I like MAC Syrup. I actually really do like MAC Syrup. MAC Syrup. Um, that sounds funny. It's just that the black bullet forms, it's hard to find the lipstick that you want unless you have like one of those stands where they stand up. I don't have one of those. They're just all in like this thrown into a drawer. So this is easy to find. It's I only have two of these lipsticks and I know exactly which ones they are so it's just easier for me to find. So that's that. Um, secondly, I've been really liking a specific color of eyeshadow and I don't know why but it is toasted. This color right here. And it's like a really nice I'm wearing it on my lids today. It's like a really nice bronzy fall color. There it is there. And it is from the Naked Palette. And I don't know, I'm wearing it all over my lids today and I just, re I really like it. It's one of those colors that you can kind of put on and it's all over your crease, on your lid, everything, and it's just the nicest color. I love it. And then I have a blush, and this blush really is nothing special. I don't know if I've mentioned it before. If I can get it out, I will show you. And it is called Blush Baby. That's what it looks like. I know my lighting is a little strange. And it really, honestly, it looks like nothing. You would think that's the craziest color. But I'm wearing it today, and it's just a nice flush. It's not anything special. It's something that you can kind of go to if you just want a little... You don't know what you want to wear, but you don't want to wear bright pink. You don't want to wear plum. It's just the nicest color. So here it is kind of compared to other colors. Um, this is it here, and like, this is Pink Swoon, very bright, and this is Pinch of Peach, so it's just a nice color. Moving, so that's all of the beauty products that I actually really enjoyed this month. I'm going to move on now to non-beauty related products. Um, the first is a hair product, and it is the L'Oreal Kids Tangle Tamer, and you can see I kind of used a lot of it. I've only had this for like a couple weeks, but I really like it. And it smells like green apple. It smells delicious. And it's a really nice product to kind of just use to help tame your hair. It is a tangle tamer, and I have really thick, dry hair. And that's because I bleached the bottoms of my hair. But I've been really this month trying to just... I'm in this mood where I want to just use up everything I have. I don't really want to buy a whole bunch of new products. So... When I got this, I was kind of like, oh, I don't really need it, but I'm glad that I have it because it is really nice and it kind of does help 
tame the frizziness in my hair and it does really detangle so it's really nice. Although I would maybe suggest this more or less for people who don't have really thick hair like I do. I think that it would be more, it would be a better detangler if you had thinner hair. But it's not also really like heavy, like it won't weigh down your thin hair at the same time. But I still like it. Next is a perfume and this, you might have seen it in my September, not my September favorites, my <laughs> birthday haul. And it is Miss Dior Sherry. That's what it looks like. I have used the crap out of this this month. Every single day this month I've been wearing this. And I love it. I can't get enough of it. And what I love most about this is that you spray it on once in the morning and that's it. It stays, it, it has the long, the longest staying power out of every perfume that I own and I love it for that. So much so that when I get into my car I can smell it because it actually transfers onto my seatbelt. So like my seatbelt smells amazing and I love it. Next is a face wash and this is the Organic Foaming Face Wash by Consonant. This is what it looks like. Um, I got this in a Luxe box a couple months ago and I've been trying to use it up as you can see. Like I said, I'm kind of in a use up mode. And I really like this stuff. It's a foam which I really like. It's not too drying and it is all organic so that's kind of nice. And I don't think I've ever used a product that I didn't have to work so hard to get all my makeup off. Most face washes typically that I've ever used are targeted towards combination oily skin. So most of them can be pretty drying but at the same time I have really combination skin so I find that that stuff doesn't really dry my skin out and I don't have to work so hard to get my makeup off. Like it just dissolves your makeup like crazy. I don't know where you, oh I guess you can get it at consonantbody.com. I don't know if it's going to focus so you can see that but yeah I, I love that stuff. And then I have a couple other stuff. Boots. I've been really into boots this month. Boots and scarves and I will show you a scarf in particular. But these boots, these are Shannon's boots and all the boots I've been wearing this month I cannot take credit for because they are all Shannon's. But this is, they're nice. They come up just below my knee and they have like nice like a, like a buckle and they're round toed which is kind of nice. And they're just, they're nice. I just, they're sturdy. I like the look of them. They kind of have that distressed look and they have a zipper all the way down. And just a little tiny heel. I think that's very sophisticated for everyday wear. And scarves. So really into scarves. This scarf is really nice. It's just a nice neutral scarf. And I got this one just recently. And it, I got it from Winners. And it's huge. It's the biggest scarf ever. It's huge. Um, and I love that it's kind of like a like a shawl like it's kind of like a blanket feeling and it looks like a rug really I mean it's really nice I love the colors excuse me I love the colors and I love just the way that it's just it's big it's hefty so if you were to wear like skinny jeans like a basic top with this underneath and a pair of boots oh boy you'd be rocking it let me tell you love this scarf last but not least is a book and this is one day and I I love the idea of reading I really do but sometimes I just don't have time so this book is actually taking me a, a lot longer than I thought to read I'm only about mm, like a third through and I've had it for like a good while <laughs> but I really really like it I love the idea of this book I love it and I just keep waiting for something amazing to happen in it and it doesn't but at the same time you want to keep reading because you want that moment to come and that's kind of where I'm at with this book right now. I love it. I think the author is amazing. I've never read anything else by David Nichols so don't really know. I can't comment on all his other books but I, I like that I like books that are connected to movies because when you see the trailer for the movie and you know that it's based on a book you kind of spark that interest and then when you read the book if you know the actors and actresses, you can kind of see in your head those actresses playing the people, like the characters. So when I read this book, I see Anne Hathaway as the main character immediately. And it just makes the reading experience for me so much better. 
It was the same with Something Borrowed. When I saw Jennifer Goodwin as the main character and Kate Hudson as her best friend and John Krasinski as Jennifer Goodwin's good friend, like it just made the reading experience for me so much better and I love that about that book. So yeah, that's kind of how I like to read. And it was the same with Twilight. I know Twilight's one of those love-hate things for me right now. I used to love it. And I'm uh, kind of over it. I don't really... Mm. But I still want to see the movies because I loved the books. Because I knew who was playing the characters. I don't know. Anyway, so that was everything. I hope that you guys had an amazing September. It flew by really quickly for me. And I hope that you guys have an amazing October. I don't really have a lot planned as of yet for anything on our blog. I will definitely do a book review once I finish that. And I'm thinking of doing a couple more bloggy posts that don't really include videos. I feel like lately I've been kind of just relying on videos to post to you guys and I'm really really sorry about that. But I will do better and I'm hoping that I can get some good reviews up for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon.